Okay, third time I'm trying this. All right, I just wanted to check in. It's been about two weeks. Uh, a lot has happened in the last two weeks. My daughter separated from her husband. That was a huge disaster. Um, and this happened in the middle of her moving. And of course, half his stuff is with the new place and half his stuff is at the old place. And it was a big mess. And uh, anyway, I had to step in and help her move and to cope with this. And uh, not that I mind helping her. I would always do that for any of my kids. But uh, I'm very tired. If I look tired, that's part of why. Because um, I've been staying up late with her and uh, I helped her pack and I gathered a bunch of people and we all went over there like a week and a half ago and we helped her move completely out of the old place uh, into the new place. Um, me and my husband ended up taking all of her husband's stuff to him because when he left he wasn't very nice. Um, he did he was a little violent but not physically toward her but it was enough that we were all uncomfortable with it he's not welcome to come back and do that um, and I'm so anyway if I'm not making a lot of sense it's because I'm so tired uh, on top of that um, so my daughter separated she moved into her new place then my son started having panic attacks and uh, so if it's not her calling me at night he's calling me at night um, so I'm really tired uh, and when you're really tired and you have lupus and other issues like I have, um, it kind of triggers some of the old stuff. Um, as tired as I am, I have insomnia and, uh, it's just silly, um, why that would happen, but it does. I'm exhausted and I lay down and I try to sleep and I can't. And when I finally do go to sleep, it's not good sleep. Um, my body hurts cause I'm so tired. I'm not resting enough. Um. Again, I'm not thinking straight. I'm exhausted. Um, so anyway, uh, my health. I, I did notice something about the the flares that come. Um, they seem to revolve around. Well, it's not exactly around PMS time, but it seems to get worse like a week after my period, which is, I know that sounds weird, but I do fine as soon as my period starts and I'm, I have a good, a good week. I don't hurt all over. Um, I'm not as tired. The inflammation's not there. Uh, and then I can, it's, it seems to be, um, like I said, about a week after I start that the inflammation starts coming back. I start getting, um, swelling in my gums. Sometimes I get sores in my mouth. Um, this is all from lupus. I never had this stuff before. Uh, so the swelling starts coming back and I notice it in my gums and they, it's hard to brush my teeth and, uh, it, it, it just starts affecting me all over. Uh, my joints start to hurt. Um, it's just annoying, you know, it's just really annoying and I'm really, really tired. I have chronic fatigue. And the closer I get to the next period, the worse this whole thing gets. Uh, and no, it's not PMS. It, this I've never been a person who had bad PMS. I'm not one of those people. Um, the worst that happens to me is I just get really, really tired. Um, so, um, I'm sorry, I'm saying, um, I can't think a lot. Uh, uh, see, I'm making no sense. I'm tired and I can't think straight. So, anyway, um, so you get to see me really tired and uh, not making a lot of sense. When I'm tired, I can't think of the words I'm trying to say. Uh, that's why there's the uh and the and ums. <laughs> I feel silly doing this video. I don't want to post it already. I'm thinking of stopping, but I'm just going to let you see a side of me that I don't like other people to see all the time. Uh, not much else to tell you. The girls are fine. Homeschooling's going real slow. I'm not real, I'm not real good at it yet. I mean, I know I'm a good teacher and a good mom and all that stuff, but it's hard to be a teacher and a mommy. Um, so I'm still struggling with it, but I'm not going to give up. I still enjoy that, that my girls are here and that we get to do things together and learn together and all that. Uh, let's see. What time is it? It's only been a few minutes. 
let's see what else is going on uh as far as my daughter i guess i can tell you she's okay she you know she's going through the normal stages of grief and she was really really sad and depressed for a long time and then really sad right after she did it and now she's angry uh and now she's um also worried about her soon to be ex-husband because he's not dealing with this very well he's chosen to drink and uh, just keep himself numb instead of just dealing with his feelings and that's really sad and scary for all of us because we don't don't hate him or anything we don't want him to hurt himself but it was looking like he was going to so I'm sorry I'm just really itchy too today um, <laughs> I'm sorry I guess I'm gonna stop because I'm just I can't keep focus. That's the fibro fog they call it. I don't know. I, I think it's just because I'm tired. Uh, I think I'm just going to stop. I just wanted to check in. I didn't want to let too much time go by before I posted another video. So now you get to see me tired and not so good. And Yeah, my throat hurts a little bit too. And It's really been gray outside and that doesn't help me. I forgot I should turn on my my sun lamp, look, it looks like a, hold on, sunshine. <laughs> Everybody giggles when I turn that thing on. It uh, makes the room look funny, but I like it. It feels good. I think I'll sit here for a few minutes. It's a, they call it a sad light, which is silly because you use it so you won't be sad. Seasonal affect disorder. Yeah, if it's too gray for too many days, I start feeling yucky. I need sunshine. I don't like to sit in the sunshine, but I need to have sunshine. I need to see it outside and uh, be able to walk out in it for a few minutes. <clears throat> okay, I need some water. I didn't bring any in here, so I guess I better go. I love you guys. Uh, sorry for all the scattered thoughts. I just felt like sharing. Okay, bye-bye.